So the other day I went to use my Hakko 808 and I found that it wasn't getting hot. Which is somewhat disturbing because I believe the element's gone. And if the element has gone, they're no longer available. Not from Hakko and not from anywhere else as far as I can tell online. They're now obsolete, which is somewhat somewhat annoying, somewhat disturbing because these things are not cheap. For Hakko to say we're going to stop making the elements to support this, you know, I don't think he's very uh, nice of Hakko. Um, yeah, I know they want to sell their new products, but they should still support their customers in terms of their older products. And as far as the, the unit's concerned, the pump works fine. Actually, I'll plug it in now so you can see what it's doing. Plug it into the isolation transformer. So the uh, the pump <coughs> pump works perfectly. <coughs> pump works fine. <coughs> So the pump works perfectly fine, the suction pump works perfectly fine, but no heat, no heat from the element, and so I might have to scrap this and buy something else to replace it. So I'm going to investigate what's actually happened to this. Um, and confirm my suspicions that the element has burned out. So let's unplug it. So no more power. And Well, there's the two wires from the element. There's only two wires on this. A lot of the solder suction machines today actually have four wires to the element. So there's two for the element, two for the sensor in the element to control the temperature. Uh, these, however, have an electronic control and they pulse the power to the element. And as far as I know, it's a 48 volt element. So let's just uh, take a measurement across the element there. See what we've got. So we're on continuity here. Yeah, it's open circuit. 
reading open circuit. These will actually unplug. So now I've got a task of trying to find a replacement element or it's going to be scrap, which I'm not very really happy about. It doesn't appear to be, it. well, there's some markings on there, but they're not very really clear. There's a, there's a four that's down the down inside the element there, and then there's a zero four five. I don't quite know what that's supposed to mean. That's the that's the only markings that I can see on here. You can see that there's a that the element comes to a point here and that matches the nozzle that they use so it fits nicely. Now I'm not sure if any other units will actually uh, work with that but that's how it's designed to work. So I've got to try and see if I can get a replacement element for it. Which is which is very annoying. Open circuit element. What I'm gonna do is just check the output here to make sure that we're getting 48 volts or whatever the supply is for the element. Not that that really we know what's wrong with it. It's the element that's faulty. But I might as well just confirm what's going on here. So let's put the scope on it. Probably just about see that. Let's put it onto scope. Come across the element. Come across the element here. and put some power into it see what we get so, plug it into the isolation transformer again and yeah we're getting some pulses oh, you can see that we're getting pulses at 10 volts per centimeter on the scope, they're one, two, three, four, they're at least 40 volts, over 40 volts. Also getting a bunch of noise from somewhere. Not quite sure where the noise is coming from. So we are powering the element or we would be let's unplug it there we go it's gone down to nothing that's just noise we're picking up now 
couple of hundred millivolts of, uh, of noise. Plug it back in. And again, 40, 40 odd volts, 40, 45 volts of spikes to heat the element and unplug it so yeah so looks like looks like the unit's working but the other one's gone so we're unplugged again and it's not like I really use this a lot I mean it it had some use over the years that I've had it but it really hasn't had a lot of use so I'm surprised that this element has burned out but it appears that's the problem so now I've got to see if I can find an element for it otherwise thanks Hacko it's now scrap I may be able to install an element from a different make of desoldering gun. We'll have to have a look online, see what I can find. Uh, in the meantime, I may just replace this with a different desoldering gun, uh, something relatively inexpensive, just so I do have some sort of desoldering gun in the meantime. So, anyway. That's the issue with the Hacko, and I don't think I'll be buying Hacko again in the future. Uh, not when they don't support their products. Um, yeah, okay, maybe this is maybe this is ten years old. But you know. Why don't they just keep making elements for it? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe for more videos. Thanks again. Bye for now.